Hey guys, I'm meteorologist Chris Tomer. Let's talk some mountain weather, and it is a big powder Christmas day across a lot of ski resorts across the West. So this major storm cycle is definitely coming to fruition, and we've got another two, maybe three storm systems on the way through the first, through the new year, through New Year's Day. Um, let's first start uh, in Crested Butte, 41 inches in 48 hours, and again, you've got another two, maybe three storm systems on the way. Absolutely gorgeous view there at uh, Crested Butte. I've been keeping close tabs on that. Got a lot of friends down there in Crested Butte. Let's go to Wolf Creek. You can see the view there in Wolf Creek. And they are reporting 33 inches in 48 hours. I think you've got at least another couple of feet coming. Um, maybe, maybe a little bit more. Um, two, maybe even three feet coming um, between now and the first. I think I'm actually forecasting on the high side, maybe 30 to 44 inches yet to fall in Wolf Creek. So I'm on a high side Wolf Creek. I think the ratios are going to start to change as colder air begins to move in. Here's um, Aspen Snowmass, and uh, this is Aspen Highlands. You can see the live view. I mean, the storm total is absolutely incredible. I mean, this is just, it's just so awesome to see up there. Um, officially 28 inches in 48 hours, but you've got another one to two feet coming as well. Up in Jackson Hole, there's your view. Jackson Hole reporting 20 inches in the last 48 hours. You've got additional snow coming, and this is what's coming. This out here, this is what's hitting Tahoe right now. We'll drop down into... Uh, Mammoth, and then this is the next storm that will rotate out of California and then hit the west, hit the interior west. You can see it's snowing and blowing. This one's going to have a pretty good jet streak with it as well, which means it's going to bring a lot of wind across the interior uh, ski resorts of the, uh, the west um, by the time we get into late tonight and into Sunday. That's sort of the time frame for Utah, Wyoming, Colorado, northern New Mexico is going to be overnight tonight into the day uh, tomorrow as far as wind and snow. And here's the pattern in the Pacific giant trough. A uh, huge low uh, sitting out here over the Pacific where all this energy is sort of rotating in and then gets ejected into California with the, these storm systems. And that's what we're seeing in this pattern. Storm heading California today and then the interior west overnight and into the day tomorrow. And then there are other storm systems behind that as well. So let me take a look at that. In fact, this is the, uh, the future uh, radar here. Blue is snow on this GFS, American Model Interpretation. So take a look at the west. There's the storm hitting the west coast. Here it comes. Heavy snow out of the Sierra. This is Sunday morning, and there it is. Hitting the, uh, the Wasatch, hitting the Tetons, hitting Idaho, Montana, uh, and Colorado. So Sunday is going to be another powder day across the interior west. Heading into Monday morning, that storm moves away, but the next one already hitting the West Coast. So again, these storms are all lined up coming out of that big trough that's sitting out over the uh, the Pacific. And heavy snow into the Sierra again, and then that storm does the same thing by Monday night, Tuesday morning, moving into parts of Utah. In fact, it'll probably move into the Wasatch Monday afternoon and the Tetons Monday afternoon, and then into Colorado Monday night, Tuesday morning. So Tuesday is going to be another big powder day. Uh, in fact, Monday will probably be a powder day across um, a number of resorts. Um, so that storm moves away. Let me take you into Wednesday morning. Another storm coming out of the desert southwest. Another storm over in the uh, in California. That's Wednesday. Here's Thursday morning. We're waiting. Now, I talked about this the last couple of days. It's possible this storm cycle ends on the first of the new year as a northwest flow. So let's investigate uh, let's see what the GFS does. So here's the 31st. So it looks like two things coming together. See the Pacific Northwest low and the low coming out of the uh, the southwest part of uh, California. The two kind of merge. Um, so, okay, this is interesting. So this is Friday morning, New Year's Eve. Storm drops out of the Pacific Northwest, tries to establish a northwest flow. You've got snow, New Year's Eve. The Wasatch, the Tetons moving into Colorado. And there it is. Here, let me take in the New Year's Day. Oh, this is very interesting. Um, so this is New Year's Day. Looks like the two storms, according to the GFS, merge into one larger storm. New Year's Eve, New Year's Day. That's very interesting. And this is actually the first time I'm looking at the, uh, the GFS uh, for this 12Z uh, cycle. So uh, that's something to watch. That is absolutely something to watch. Um, let me take you into my thoughts on this uh, as far as new snow between now uh, all the way from today, all the snow that falls today, Christmas Day all the way through the 1st. And you can see, there it is. I'm high siding Wolf Creek at uh, over 3 feet. Um, I've got a couple more feet for Silverton, another uh, almost 3 feet, 2 to 3 feet in Crested Butte, another 2 feet for Snowmass, another foot for Loveland Vale, another 1 to 2 feet up in Steamboat. And the, uh, and the Wasatch, another 1 to 2 feet. 
and another foot down to Brian Head, another one to two feet up in Jackson Hole and Grand Targhee. And look at that flow head in California. Um, yeah, I'm rolling with probably 50 to 60, 70 inches of additional snow there from Tahoe down to Mammoth. I think that's entirely possible with three additional storms on the way. And then look at the uh, Pacific Northwest. That's assuming that that final low gels uh, on New Year's Eve, New Year's Day, or at least New Year's Eve, and that, and then the Pacific Northwest comes out of that area and drops some heavy snow up there, 40, 50 inches, my goodness. Um, let me just uh, go into my plume. This is Wolf Creek. Uh, again, about 44 more inches coming, uh, roughly. So you'll get about four overnight tonight, another foot tomorrow, another eight to 12 tomorrow, roughly, and it just keeps adding up each day, 27, 28, 29, 30, and then we kind of flatline and maybe a little bit extra on the first. So. That's the way it's looking right now, guys. It's just outstanding pattern. This is one of the biggest storm cycles for the uh, for the West in years. Uh, this is this is really big. Obviously, there's extreme avalanche danger, but uh, the storms just keep on coming. Hope everyone has a great Christmas day. I'll keep things updated here. Thank you for tuning in.